The governor of a Russian border region says local forces have shot down drones as it battles fighters, jets, who have crossed from Ukraine. Violence broke out on Monday in Belgorod on the border with Ukraine. A self-described anti-Kremlin group has claimed responsibility. But Russia accuses Ukraine of sabotage. Kyiv has denied involvement. Well, the Kremlin says the incursion near Belgorod is an attempt by Ukraine to divert attention from Russia's capture of the eastern city of Bakhmut. But Kyiv says its forces still control an area to the southwest of Bakhmut and it is making gradual advances. On Saturday, Russia announced it had taken the last few blocks in the city centre after months of fighting. Let's get more on this. We can speak to Yulia Shapovalova, who was a journalist in Moscow. Yulia, what exactly is going on in the Belgorod region? So, in Russia's Belgorod region, the Ministry of Defense continues forcing out the illegal armed formations, as they say. A counter-terrorism operation continues. Uh, on Monday, there were reports about helicopters in the skies over the region. Uh, the head of the uh, Belgorod region also said that residents of the Grivaron district um, of it uh, uh, cannot return to their homes, but uh, he will inform the people using his social networks and the heads of uh, local governments uh, will also bring the information when the district is safe for them to return. Um, according to the governor, an elderly woman died on Monday uh, during the evacuation. Uh, there are also several wounded civilians in the villages where these saboteurs entered, as well as civilian infrastructure was damaged. According to sources, on Monday, the uh, Graveron district was fired from a multiple launch rocket system from the territory of Ukraine. Uh, the so-called Belgorod 22 facility, a close military camp was also attacked. As a result of the shelling, two Russian soldiers were killed, four more were injured, and the so-called Russian... Um, uh, well, basically, that's, that's what's going on there now. So who could be behind the attacks? Because Kyiv says it's not them. Well, that's correct. Uh, the so-called Freedom of Russia Legion uh, has taken responsibility for the attacks. Uh, they're considered a terrorist organization in Russia and are suspected to be connected with the Ukrainian armed forces. Uh, they say their goal is to free Russia and change its political system. Uh, those people also claimed responsibility for the attack in the Belgorod region back in February. Uh, according to Dmitry Peskov, the Kremlin spokesperson, uh, the Ministry of Defense, the FSB and the Border Service have reported uh, to Putin, to Mr. Putin, about the attack uh, uh, to break into the Belgorod region. And he also said that work is underway to kick away the Ukrainian saboteurs from Russian territory and destroy the group. And uh, he said that there are enough forces and means for that. And also Dmitry Peskov said that the purpose of the Ukrainian sabotage in the Belgorod region is to divert attention from the Bakhmut direction to minimize the political effect of the loss of Bakhmut by the Ukrainian side. Okay, thank you for that. Yulia Shapovalova there for us in Moscow.